Hi GeoDoers and welcome back. In this video we're going to cover the continental inventory valuation method, where the cost of a good is taken into account as soon as the product is received in stock. Let's see how it works in Odoo. So before we start, we need to make sure that the database is set to continental, not Anglo-Saxon accounting. Of course, the country and the fiscal localization were set when the database was created, but we'll check just in case. So to do that, we'll go into settings, and scroll all the way down to activate the developer mode. Then we can go back into the settings and search for Anglo, and we see that it is not checked, so we're all set. I'll just leave the developer tools, and now we're going to bounce back and forth between our purchase and our accounting apps to see the impact of our actions in continental accounting since our company is based in Belgium. So I'm going to have two tabs open to easily switch back and forth between the different apps. First, we'll check in our purchase app and look for some information on our products. We're going to be using the Terracotta Pot today. And if we click on the arrow next to its product category, we'll find that we have all the information regarding which accounts will be used. So we have the automated inventory valuation set. And note that if you don't have this field, uh, it may be because you need to turn on the automatic accounting in the accounting settings. So now let's create a purchase order. We'll go back to our RFQs and create a new one. We'll be using our Terracotta Depot and buying some Terracotta Pots. And we're going to be buying 50 of those. And we can go ahead and confirm this order. And now I'll switch to our accounting app. And here I'm going to go to the journal items view and I like to group it by journal entry so that we can see everything we need to. And we can see here that there isn't any journal entry yet. That's because purchase orders do not create journal entries. So when we go back to our purchase order and we're going to validate the receipt of our goods, now we can return to our accounting app and we see that we do have a journal entry once we refresh. So here we're hitting the interim account, which is used for goods that have entered our inventory but not yet been billed, and that's going to be credited. And then the inventory account is debited because the value of our stock has increased. So we'll go back to the purchase app to continue the flow, and we will now go back to our purchase order and create the bill. So we'll be sure to add a bill date, and we can confirm. And now we'll go back to our accounting app. We'll hit enter here to refresh, and we see we do have that journal entry now. So here we can see it's in the vendor bills journal, and the expense account is what is being debited here, and that the account payable is being credited with the amount that we owe to the vendor. So since in continental accounting, the cost of goods sold is immediately recorded in the profit and loss statement, if the goods are not sold right away and then kept in stock, you have to make sure that the accountant periodically adds it to the balance sheet. Then the margin will be recognized in the profit and loss statement when the goods are actually sold. And what happens when a customer buys the product? Yes, so you're right, let's see what happens then. We're going to sell our product, so we'll go back to the main dashboard and into the sales app, and we'll click to create a new quotation for our friends at Landscape Supply Co. We'll be selling our terracotta pots, and we'll be selling all 50 of those. So now we can go ahead and confirm this. We'll go back to the accounting app where we'll just see once again that Sales orders, like purchase orders, do not create a journal entry. And then we can go back to the sales app and we'll validate this delivery. So we validate that and we'll go back to our accounting app, refresh, and we see we do have another journal entry. This time we are going to debit the stock interim account and credit the actual inventory account because our inventory has decreased while that suspense count has increased. 
So now for the last step, we're going to go back to the sales app and create our invoice. So we'll go ahead and create our draft invoice and confirm it. And when we go back to refresh, we have our final journal entry. So this journal entry is in the customer invoices journal and the income account is going to be credited with the sales amount and the account receivable will be debited with the amount that our customer now owes us. So we saw that four different entries were created based on goods entering and leaving our inventory, a vendor bill, and our customer invoice. So now you know how continental accounting impacts the inventory valuation. Thanks for watching. This has been your pal Dow. I'll see you in the next one.